Paul, Barnabas, Apollo, Luke, Timothy, gnarly, gnarly dudes. These guys were tough. They never really took the easy road. They were going up and down mountains. Paul likened his journey of faith to an athlete. He says, I buffet my body. He said, I fight the good fight. I finish the race. There's a great uh, amount of things we can learn from understanding sports and the intersection of sports and faith to see how what we can learn out of sports because it's something I think God takes great delight in, something humans take great delight in, and we can discover a little bit more about our faith journey by understanding the intersection of sports and faith. We have as our guest today, Bruce Warzniak from Catholic Sports Radio. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. And that's when I had that moment that you're asking about Bear. I went up and I said, okay, now I see why everybody is sitting up on this top deck. What a beautiful view. And as I sat there, there were, of course, everything in the Bible comes in threes. So I received three messages as I was sitting there. The first was, Bruce, look all around you. What do you see? And I thought, oh, water. There's so much about water in the Bible that, okay, wow, that's, that's a pretty powerful moment. And next thing you know, I get tapped on the shoulder again. And the question now is, Bruce, what is your favorite story in the Bible? And I thought, well, that's the one where Jesus is falling asleep in the boat and the water's getting in and they wake him up and say, please save us. The water's coming in. We're going to drown. And he gets him back to shore and he says, guys, did you have faith? So I thought, oh my gosh, this is really powerful that I'm being blessed to be touched with these stories right now and these reminders. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me. So then I got angry and said, well, now I am going to do it every week. And it's like God said, Bruce, you do the show. I'll get you the guests. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so a year later, my list is now up to what was what was in the high 40s. It's now up to 202 potential guests that are on my list. So only a year. So what I'm telling your listeners, your audience, is that you don't have to look for these big, huge, life-changing moments to say that God is moving in what you're doing. And so he can move in your sports life. He can move in something like the shows that you and I do bear, and he can move in our everyday life. And our everyday life, a lot of times, some folks might be just sports fans and say, well, that doesn't apply to me. Yes, it does. <laughs> because sometimes there's a temptation to become very unchristian like as a fan and start <laughs> hurling expletives at the yeah. screen, or you're at a game and you're yelling things out at players. You know, you're hoping that someone gets hurt on the other team. There's a psychologist that I've had on my show twice already to talk about a lot of these types of things. You know, parents that take sports way, way, way too seriously. And there's a lot of different. Hey, man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. 